In the remote village of Seraphim Peaks, nestled high among the craggy mountains, lived a young man named Marcus. His journey towards physical mastery was not born from vanity or a desire for accolades, but from a profound yearning to embrace stoic principles and unlock the inner strength that lay dormant within him. This journey would lead him to discover not just 10 life-changing rules, but a profound transformation that would leave an indelible mark on his village and beyond. Rule one, embrace discipline. Each day, Marcus awoke before the sun, his commitment unwavering. He embraced discipline as if it were his closest friend. The daily regimen of exercise, nutrition, and rest became the cornerstone of his existence. It was in this unwavering discipline that he found his first taste of mastery. Rule two, know thyself. But Marcus knew that physical mastery was not a one-size-fits-all endeavor. To excel, he had to know himself intimately. He studied his body, recognizing its unique strengths and limitations. This self-awareness allowed him to tailor his training, extracting maximum potential. Rule three, find joy in the process. Amidst the sweat and struggle, Marcus found something unexpected, joy. He reveled in the process itself, in the daily grind, understanding that happiness wasn't solely in the achievement of his goals, but in the very path he tread. Rule four, cultivate resilience. Life is not without its trials, and Marcus faced his share. Injuries tested his resolve, and setbacks threatened to derail his journey. But he embraced these challenges as opportunities to cultivate resilience, rising stronger after each fall. Rule five, master the mind-body connection. The mastery of the physical body was inextricably linked to the mind. Marcus practiced mindfulness, honing his mental strength to enhance his physical performance. In meditation, he discovered clarity. In concentration, he found power. Rule six, prioritize health over vanity. In the pursuit of physical excellence, Marcus distinguished between health and vanity. He understood that true mastery was about functional fitness, ensuring that his body would serve him well through the span of his life. It was not about appearances, but about vitality. Rule seven, live in harmony with nature. Stoicism taught Marcus to live in harmony with nature. He took his training outdoors, relishing the challenges presented by the natural world. Rain, snow, or sunshine, he embraced it all, recognizing the symbiotic relationship between man and the environment. Rule eight, inspire others. As Marcus's mastery grew, so did his desire to inspire others. He shared his knowledge and experiences, coaching fellow villagers and travelers passing through. His guidance ignited the flame of self-improvement in the hearts of many, spreading stoic physical training far and wide. Rule nine, adapt and innovate. Marcus was a student of change. He understood that the path to mastery was not static. He welcomed innovation, continuously seeking better methods and techniques to elevate his physical and mental capabilities. Rule 10, express gratitude. In the end, Marcus looked upon his journey with profound gratitude. He thanked Stoicism for its guiding principles, which had led him to physical mastery. He thanked his body for its unwavering resilience and his mind for its unyielding focus. Years turned into decades, and Marcus's fame spread beyond Seraphim Peaks. His physical mastery, rooted deeply in Stoic philosophy, not only transformed his own life but became a beacon of inspiration for countless others. His story demonstrated that true physical mastery wasn't about showcasing strength, but about harnessing it to lead a virtuous, fulfilled life. And thus, the legacy of Marcus, the Stoic master of Seraphim Peaks, lived on for generations, reminding all that the path to excellence was a journey worth taking.